Hey guys, welcome to episode number 356, and in today's episode, we are going to build a DIY 2 liter moving bed filter for your K1 Micro Media. Now, if you got a My Aquarium box this month, and uh, it was a freshwater box, and you happen to see this bag in your box, this is the video for you. We're going to show you how to use this um, so that you can get the most beneficial bacteria growing in a very small biologic filter media chamber. And uh, one of the easiest ways to do this is to use a two liter bottle. So let's get building. All right, so one thing that I need to talk about before we get started here is um, the parts that you're going to need. So you're obviously going to need a two liter bottle, so we have that. You're going to need some sort of moving bed media. And for aquariums, I really highly recommend K1 Caldness, but get it in the micro size. K1 Micro is made for aquariums, whereas regular K1 is a lot larger and it's made for ponds. So this is about one liter and this is a two liter bottle so that's just about perfect the other thing that you're going to need is a drill and a couple drill bits um, the larger drill bit is going to be for whatever suction cup you have so this small suction cup works great with a quarter inch drill bit so I have that and then I, it needs some sort of smaller drill bit and this is going to be to drill a bunch of holes in the side of my bottle to allow water to flow through this bottle and uh, this one happens to be a 3 16 inch drill bit and this is the perfect diameter for any sort of your uh, airline connectors so whether it's a straight connector or an elbow connector or even if you have a piece of rigid airline tubing all of those will work great with a 3 16 inch hole so those are the pieces you're gonna need um, if you don't have a drill or dr the right drill bits, you can also use uh, like a wood burner or something else to uh, punch holes in the side of your bottle. It's uh, just a matter of personal preference. But the most important thing to note is that when you're punching holes in the side of this bottle, you want those holes to always be smaller than your media so it cannot escape. It's a really simple build, so let's get going. Alright guys, so here is the bottle itself. Um, we have a bunch of holes punched in the bottom part of the bottle. That's going to allow our water to flow in. We've got our elbow connector, but you could also use a straight connector or your rigid airline tubing to uh, allow you to attach an airline down here, which allows the bubbles in and then those travel up through the chamber and then you've got a bunch of holes on the top to allow the water to escape. Now the last thing you need to do is switch your drill bit and attach one or two um, of your suction cups uh, to the side of the bottle so that it can stick to the side of your tank. Alright, so the last step is to just add your media. Alright guys, and here is the finished product your K1 Micro moving bed filter made out of a two liter bottle. Now this is the one we just put together and as you can see the K1 Micro Media is very white in color. It's because it's brand new material 
and you can see the bubbles coming in from the bottom there aren't really having a whole lot of effect on the media and that is a hundred percent to be expected this stuff is neutrally buoyant but when it's brand new it actually is buoyant and if we look over here this media is discolored that's because it's a few months old and all of that coloration is the beneficial bacteria and other stuff that's stuck to the media and when there's enough stuff stuck to your K1 micro media it actually does become exactly neutrally buoyant and when you add a little bit of bubbles down below you can see it has a nice tumbling effect and that's what you're looking for so this is what your filter will look like when it's brand new but once that media kicks in in a few weeks it'll start to color up and then it will look like this and it will start moving all on its own and that's when you know you're in business this stuff is great this stuff has tons of surface area and the best feature of all is the fact that it's self-cleaning so as you can see those little wagon wheels as they sort of tumble into one another they clean themselves so each little piece of media is cleaning itself as it runs into itself so in, keeping that in mind a filter like this never needs to be cleaned it never needs to be cleaned and it's one of the most efficient biologic filter medias pound for pound square inch for square inch so it's really really good stuff so with all of that being said hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys go make your own moving bed filter and I'll see you guys later